Welcome to another episode of Ask Cindy Connector Live. Well, hello, hello. happy day at Forward Friday. This is your host, Cindy at Ask Cindy Connector Live. Make sure that you go to Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram, and hit that follow button. And you want to go also to my YouTube at Ask Cindy Connector Live. You're going to hit the subscribe button. You're going to hit that bell icon to get notified of other awesome videos. But here is something even more better. So when you subscribe and you comment, you're actually going to win a three-night giveaway. So once you do that, make sure that you go to threenightgiveaway.com, do the screenshot, and your vacation is on your way. So really quickly today, a plug for National Day Calendar. It is National Space Day woo-hoo, and Small Business Week. If you are a small to medium-sized business and you would like a podcast just like this one, simply go to StreamYard.com. And if you'd like to comment today, go to StreamYard.com slash Facebook. So on the show again, Mr. Casey Everhart, social media influencer, speaker and business coach and today we're talking about the power of mailbox power but first off tell us your story oh my gosh cindy well first off thank you so much for having me i appreciate it um you know at the end of the day my story kind of is pretty simple i have built a career out of connecting people to their customers and connecting business owners to their customers And I've realized my entire story really comes down to something very simple. Always give more value than expected and everything else works itself out. So um, my story is just a simple one. I'm just a dude that likes to help businesses get their phone to ring. That's it. Well, I'm going to go in the green room. I'm going to have you full screen so you can show my audience all these amazing gifts, especially the wine gift. I really love that. So I'm going to pop down and I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Awesome. So you guys, so um, we are super excited um, that we now in Mailbox Power and the ecosystem, the business tool, the customer engagement platform called Mailbox Power just launched just this past week some amazing new personalized and customized gifts that allow our business owners and our customers to personalize and customize in a one-off environment everything from a postcard to a greeting card to a big card to many many different gifts all branded to you the customer so the one cool thing i love about all of this is we don't brand anything that you don't tell us to brand. Okay, so uh, I wanted to just take a couple of minutes and show you just a couple of quick gifts that you now have access to personalize and customize and send right to your customers, to your prospects, and maybe even to your employees as a way to say job well done. So um, I'll show these off to you guys. Um, I will admit they all have my name on it. One of the reasons why, um, the most powerful words to anybody's own earballs or eyeballs is their own name, right? And so when this uh, when this stuff comes and lands in your mailbox, the mailbox of your customer, it is golden. Okay. So first off, let me just show you this. We've got a personalized foldable phone holder. Now I use these all the time. Essentially, what it is, I'll show you the little personalization here. So you can see that your name is engraved and etched in there, and this is not printed on. This is actually engraved by our laser engraver and what this does is it holds your phone um, like this it also holds an ipad Um, so if you travel a lot as we get back to traveling you can put your ipad on an airplane uh, watch a movie i have these right off my computer here um, and it allows me to put my phone right here and now i can see the time i can see anybody that's calling while i'm in the middle of a meeting Okay. Next up, we have these RFID wallets. So you can see right here again, my name is right inside of it. It's leather bound. So it has a little leather thing here. You put your credit cards inside here and then you just um, use, oh, sorry, you use this little guy here and it puts the credit cards out so you can use them. Cool thing about these is they are RDIF protected, which means that you can now travel with these and your credit card data and information is completely protected at all times. So that's another one of our little our little gifts. Um, journals. 
we know that business owners love journaling, right? And our customers love journaling. So now we have a moleskin suede journal has a place for you to put your pen right here. Um, and you can personalize it down here with the person's name right on it. And it's lined, um, it's lined paper, super nice. And there's actually, this is one of the things I love. Um, there's actually a little bookmark that goes right inside here. So if somebody's journaling on a particular day, or they had a particular ID, uh, idea, you could just put that, uh, put that in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and be able to see that journal. So a couple of, couple of more cool things. Um, this is one of my favorites. Um, this has what's called the thud factor, which means this is really heavy, right? And you'll be able to tell that you can put the person's name right on top here. And this is a game kit, okay? And the game kit comes with clay poker chips, two decks of cards, and five dice. So you can have a homemade game of Yahtzee, for crying out loud, right? But this is really powerful and impactful um, when it arrives. Now, let's say you have a customer that has a boat. People are always naming their boats. They're naming their Airbnb properties. They're naming their business office of their building. What a great gift. Um, I have a lot of friends of mine that own big boats. So I started sending these um, out with the name of the boat right there on uh, right there on personalization. My brother also, for example, uh, is in a poker club. So I sent one to all of his guys in his poker club with their names right on it. So really um, allows complete branding and personalization. Now, this is another this is another gift for the person that has every everything. Um, you can I don't know if you can tell this, um, but this is engraved. So this is not just a sticker. This is engraved uh, right on top of here. And what this is when you open it up here. I can do this right here. Um, it's a really cool grilling barbecue set. So this is kind of for the guy or the gal that has everything, loves cooking outside. Again, um, if somebody has Airbnb properties or they have boats or whatever, or even if it's just your friend, um, you can now personalize this and send this out. My brother's getting all this stuff because my brother is that kind of that guy that has everything. Plus he's a business owner. So now he can actually send these out as thank you gifts. Um, he owns a company that makes prosthetic legs, right? So his uh, client base are all doctors. Well, these doctors love their time off. This is going to make a great thank you gift um, that he can send out to his doctor clients um, uh, to be able to say thank you in something that's cool and unique and completely game changing in the sense that nobody can personalize one at a time. And then we don't put our branding on anything. So the branding is all going to you. So finally, um, finally, and uh, this is what Cindy was talking about. Think of the classiness that this is. This is a leather bound wine, uh, wine bottle set. Okay. So when you, you can brand the outside, we have two different scripts that you can use or two different fonts. Okay. And then on the inside, you've got your wine tools, your opener, your stoppers, that kind of thing. And then if you open this up, now these are said, these are sold separately. Okay. But um, you can actually do, I have now called these adult sippy cups, but they are black matte stainless steel sippy cups for your wine. They do hot or cold for 24 hours. And um, if you buy two of them and personalize them, they will put them right inside the wine box here. However, if you don't do that, it's super cool. These come separately. And what this can do is this now holds a bottle of wine. So we have a lot of, for example, real estate agents that want to use um, want to use these wine gifts as thank you gifts. So one of the cool things that you can do, create a wine box for your client, send it out with two wine glasses or wine tumblers, and then just add a bottle of wine later. What a massive impact. Is this going to ever be thrown away? Absolutely not. It's never going to be thrown away. And the only one, the only gift I don't have yet, because I sent one to myself and it just hasn't arrived here, is we have a charcuterie board, which I didn't even know what charcuterie meant. So I'm going to be a simpleton and call it a cheese board. But it's awesome. It's 13 by 13, right? And you can personalize the bottom of it. So it is an amazing array of customizable and personalizable gifts that you now have the access to send right from our phone app or right from this website. You can set up a multi-touch campaign or multi-touch points. If you're a business owner, for example, 
And I'll, I'll give you an example, just because I know we're on here. Um, I work with a lot of people that want to take, you know, let's say $500 to $1,000 as a thank you gift for a client. Well, now instead, instead of one batch of something that they um, are sort of one and done with, think about sending one month, they get a, a wine box, right? Then the next month or the two months later, they get a barbecue set. Two months later, they get a poker set. Two months later, they get um, some brownies that are personalized. It allows you to create a overall feeling of amazing awesomeness and gratitude towards your customers and your clients and your prospects and even people in your family. So you guys, those are kind of our new gifts. We are super excited about that. We have a ton of new gifts coming down the pipeline. Uh, I have a smile on my face because I know what some of those gifts are. Um, our laser engraver is busy, 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 which is absolutely awesome. And one of the cool things that this does, gang, is it gives us the ability to create impact. And when you can create impact on top of gratitude, the game's a lock. And so, Cindy, I appreciate you having me on here, and and get I could talk about this stuff all day long. Did you have any questions, or you want to share anything as well, Cindy? Uh, yeah. Can we go around four or five more minutes? Can we what? Can we go another four or five more minutes? Of course, of course. Okay. So you don't happen to have the mug that I sent you a while ago, do you? Somewhere? I do not have it right next to me. No. Oh, okay. Can you tell them about mugs? Because I think that's really important because you could use it for pins. You could use it for coffee. Well, it's so funny you say that because let me grab two of them that I just have right here. Sorry. Um, so the other cool thing, and I send, send a lot of these, is we can do a coffee mug that's completely customized and personalized. So here's a friend of mine. Uh, I'm a Bitcoin investor. Probably shouldn't say that out loud, but um, he sent me a personalized, a personalized Bitcoin mug. This is a mug I send out a lot that says, hey, you make a difference and it's customized with the person's first and last name right on it. And let me see here. You know, I um, well, you know what's so funny? I know that you're going to be in. I know that you're going to be talking to Deborah Thorne in a minute. So I'll show you one of Deborah Thorne's mugs. Oh, uh, awesome. She sent this mug out. to. She's a speaker. She is an amazing speaker and presenter. She owns the Leverage Conference. And she sent this mug out to all of the speakers and all the attendees. Had her logo on here, had our names on there. Like, look, I tried to throw this away and I can't, it literally won't, I, I can't throw it away. A coffee mug, turns out you can't throw it away. And even if you do, it ends up on the store, on a thrift store shelf somewhere. But, um, you know, here's somebody that uh, put, uh, this is my friend Mike and Brenda Sanchez. They put a picture of us all bowling. Uh, we all went bowling out in Colorado Springs put it right on site here and then literally put the name, the date and my name on it right on a coffee mug for like 12 bucks. Right. So you no longer do you have to buy 144 of them. You don't have to bring them all to your house or then package them all. Like we're COVID friendly, man. You click a button, we print it, lick it, stuff it, stamp it and take it to the post office for you. I mean, come on. Well, I want to plug Kathy Baxter. Cause you know, I have the, the series um, entrepreneur because badass it's usually badass whatever your industry is. So she did one that says entrepreneur because badass surfer girl is an official job title. I love that. And now, um, now, now look at this. So look at Cindy's face. Did you guys see how her face lit up with a giant smile? And she had something that Kathy Baxter sent her within arm's reach of her at all times. I'm going to guess that that coffee mug with Cindy's picture on it and her name on it means more to her than all the other stuff that's in her space. That's the power that we want to give you in your hands to create for your customers. Making those customers of yours feel amazing. Whew, it's a lot. Yeah, we want to have them think of us and they want to remember us. And so I'll give an example. Yesterday was my surf coach's birthday. And um, so I actually sent him a brownie with a picture of him surfing and a nice little card. And um, actually throughout the year, I sent him different stuff. Like for his birthday, I mix it up every year. Um, also the anniversary of his surf company. He also has an outrigger surf canoe. So the anniversary of that, I will send him something. So just sending little kindness throughout the year. 
and not really about being business. It's not always about business. It's about making a difference, making an impact and being remembered. Absolutely. And look, here's the thing. I, I just, I, I use this a lot for my business. I work with businesses. I work with business owners. My network are, uh, my network is made up of businesses and those business owners are always trying to find that next step, that next key, that next element to bridge the gap and build that relationship with their customer. And one of the ways that we now can do that is by showing appreciation, by saying thank you, by showing and sharing something that we think is cool. I mean, look, if my air conditioning company sent me this, I would never leave them. Mm -hmm. Do you guys get that? I would never leave them. The real question really comes down to what are you doing to show your customers that you actually care about their business? I was talking with a friend this morning and uh, we were we were just kind of having this conversation about uh, how often we need to stay in touch with people. And here's an interesting statistic for you business owners out there. For every month you do not have contact with a client or prospect, you lose approximately 10% of your influence. Okay, now here, now listen to that sentence one more time. For every month you don't have contact with a client or prospect, you lose 10% of your influence. Here's the question. If this mug comes from you and it's sitting on the person's desk, do you really lose your influence? If every day that somebody goes and gets a glass of wine after work or once their kids go to bed, they see this amazing um, wine box, do we really lose our influence? I'd say not, right? Because we're making people feel amazing and sharing our gratitude for them doing business with us. That's really um, that glue. And one of the ways that we do that is uh, this is on a marketing thing, but it's it's a subtle yet massive difference. We don't brand anything with the Mailbox Power logo. So if you send a card to one of your customers, that customer knows that that card came from you. They don't have any idea where you had it printed. When Deborah Thorne sends out her, her mugs and her swag boxes to her attendees and to her speakers at the Leverage Conference, it doesn't say, Brought to you by Mailbox Power. We don't put our logo on any of the boxes or on the en envelopes or any of the postmarks. That's all you. We want to make you the hero in the eyes of the mailbox of your customer or your prospect or your employee. Well, a lot of times I mix it up. I do uh, send some gifts that say uh, this awesome gift was provided by surfcityalohagifts.com. Uh, other times it'll be just a picture of the person and happy birthday. Other times it'll be a quote. So it's not always about branding the business. It's just mixing it up throughout the year. I think that's. So oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, I know what my insurance agent's name is, right? Her name is Deborah, right? I know her name is Deborah. If every time she sent me something, it said state farm on it. I would, I would, it just would not have the same impact as if she sent me a charcuterie board with my name on it. Mm -hmm. That's where we bridge the gap. It's not always about having a logo in front of somebody's face 24 hours a day. We got it. And I always put it through this filter, Cindy, and I'll say this to all you business owners out there as well. Start paying attention to what arrives in your mailbox and ask yourself, are you having the same impact in somebody else's mailbox? I get State Farm letters all the time. Can you tell I'm a State Farm guy, right? I get <laughs> all the time. Do I put them on my refrigerator? No. Do I put them on my desk? No. Do I um, do I put them in my car? No. Where does all of that stuff go? Trash can. Doesn't mean I'm not a customer, but every time I'm like, okay, I got it. Another letter telling me about the rate. Another letter telling me I need life insurance. I got it. I'm getting older. <laughs> I get it, right? <laughs> yeah. But if they were to just send me a coffee mug saying thanks for your business or some brownies baked especially for Casey Eberhardt by the little elves, by you could actually do something funny where you're like, Jake at State Farm built these, built, you know, cook these brownies especially for Casey Eberhardt. Like that would be fun and cool, right? Mm -hmm. 
So I get your point, Cindy, and, and I agree with you 100%. It isn't always about having your logo in front of everybody's face all the time. Put it on the back of a card, put the front of the card, make it about the customer, the inside of the card about the customer, send them a couple of treats like one of our laser engraved foldable phone holders or the wine box or a tumbler or two, and you're golden. Yeah, I just want to end uh, with a few things. So um, I'm a travel agent, as you know. And uh, so one of the things I like to do is like, uh, for instance, on my Wednesday travel show, I interviewed the owner uh, over there at uh, Dana Wharf. They do uh, the fishing excursions, whale, dolphins, all that. Um, so I'm actually going to send her a brownie. And then when I had my surf lesson last year, everybody that went to the surf lesson, including the photographer, the instructor, and my friends who went, there was a, a group picture. And then there was a little note there. So they're never going to get rid of that because it's, it's a memory that's going to last the rest of our lives. Absolutely. Creating memories, creating experiences, um, the art of gratitude. We've kind of lost that a little bit, I think. And, uh, you know, this really is a platform that provides old school hospitality using new school technology. Is there anything else, any kind of nuggets you want to end with today? You guys, I just I just would say let's go out there and really dominate our customers mailboxes and make them feel amazing and cool with a unique gift that they can't get anywhere else, right? You can't get it, you, 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 you know, you can go buy a teddy bear anywhere, right? Where can you send somebody something that really has impact with a couple of clicks of your keyboard? Mm -hmm. And Cindy, I just wanna say thank you so much for doing thank this. You. You, are, you are amazing. I love your podcast. I watch it all the time. You have so many amazing, interesting guests. And what I really love about what you're doing, Cindy, is that you are providing the glue that connects people from all over the world in as many different places as possible. So I just want to say a heartfelt thank you uh, for oh, doing God. what you do. Thank you. That means a lot. Thank you for supporting the show. Okay, I'm going to pop you in the green room. I think there's some champagne and a charcuterie board you could enjoy there for about half an hour. Copy that. I'm going for <laughs> champagne. Bye, guys. I'll see you in a minute. There you go, guys. It is so, so important to show gratitude. And we all have heard no like, and trust, but are you being known, liked, trusted, and remembered? That is really the key. So if you're a friend of mine here on Facebook or any of the social media platforms, you could actually go to surfcityalohagifts.com. If you've heard of this broadcast from another mailbox power rep, please contact them. And make sure to go to Ask Cindy Connector Live on Facebook. Subscribe and comment and you'll win your three night giveaway. You're just going to go to the YouTube, subscribe and comment, and then go to three night giveaway.com and I'll send your gift. Thank you so much. Make sure to think of five people every single day to show gratitude, live in abundance, shaka baby, and I'll see you next time.